Yo, what's up guys, this is Gloves here, and as always, this is an objective gameplay on Kill Confirmed, using the foul on the map Yemen, and you'll see Yemen a lot, as you've probably already seen a few videos on Yemen. It's probably one of my favourite maps, and I tend to do pretty well every time it crops up, so I tend to vote for it every time as well. Um, so yeah, classic Kill Confirmed gameplay, you'll see the dogs, you'll see the swarm, you'll see the VSAT, the usual combination, something that I'd recommend everyone wants to use if they're going for the higher kill streaks. Anyway, um, this video is going to be a sort of open um, video. I'm going to be talking about why I am on YouTube and why you find me here commentating over these clips today. Um, now, when I started out on YouTube um, about a year ago, I started just after my birthday in February last year. Um, the reason I really got into it was I was watching a lot of YouTube videos and I really got passionate about watching people and I thought I could do a job, I could do that, um, I could hopefully amass a certain following that people wanted to watch my videos and I've done it to a degree, obviously I'd hope for more in my first year but you've got to start somewhere and I'm extremely happy that all of you have subscribed to me and if you are a new, new person just watching this video and this is the first video you watch, do subscribe or at least give me one more chance and check out one of my videos or at least watch this video all the way through and hopefully I can convince you to subscribe to my channel. Now I started out on YouTube and the quality wasn't great um, but, but it was there, I was learning everything, I was learning everything on the job and the reason I started out was because I wanted to get this experience of editing the videos, commentating over the videos, not because um, I'm interested in getting into uh, say something like Rooster Teeth or anything like that or a job where I'm commentating over clips or anything like that or making this a living. I wanted to use it as a sort of stepping stone into an industry, into the gaming industry in general. I want to have something on my CV that shows that I'm an active participant in the community. I understand what people want and I understand that I want people to understand that I'm a gamer who has run a reasonably successful YouTube channel by the time that I do graduate from my university. Um, next summer, so not this summer, the summer after, and hopefully I'll be able to amass a, a decent little following by then, and it'll be something I can just stick on my CV when I'm going for a job interview in the gaming industry, because it's one of the probably three industries that I would like to get involved with, and um, the sort of three passions that I have in my life, is one of them is obviously gaming, it dominates so much of my life, um, I'm on it when I get home, it's become a real social experience as well your gaming console. Now we don't want to talk about that too much because I have another video up, up, up about the Xbox 720 and the next gen consoles because I've got a few ideas that I think that the Xbox 720 might be incorporating so you can check that video out very soon. But yes I wanted to get involved in YouTube. Um, it was something that I'd spent a lot of time on. I felt that I could contribute something that maybe other people would say has already always been there but you know you want to give your own voice, your own opinions on things. And you know, it's something that you're very passionate about. And to go into a career of something that you're really passionate about is a dream come true for everyone. And if you don't have that passion about what you are doing, how are you going to be pa um, motivated to go to work every day, go to do your job every day? And that's why I think you should do something in your life that you're passionate about as a job. And obviously, um, everyone here that's watching these videos would love to work in the gaming industry it's a completely oversaturated market everyone wants to play games for a living and do stuff like that but it's not that simple is it otherwise everyone would be doing it everyone would do something that they love and you'd never hear anyone complaining about the jobs that they're doing but that's not that's not realistic um, obviously there's got to be fallback options and I've got plenty of them sorted out um, but I'm not in the position right now to pick a career, I just want to finish my education first and then we'll see what happens after that. But the reason I started out on YouTube was to get that experience, to show that I have something to put on my CV that might separate me from everyone else. You know, the people that will have the grades and I'll try and have them too, obviously. But also that's something a little bit extra. Um, obviously I think that I could... When you're doing YouTube or something like that, you're talking into a microphone. It's not the same as talking face to face. But you can obviously work on your presentation skills and things like that just through doing your recording. And you say you record your audio all the time, you play it again, and you see if you can do better every time. And hopefully that'll prepare you for the interviews and stuff like that. And it's definitely an interviewing technique that I would encourage people to try out if they're going for um, a small job or something like that. Obviously, I'm not the person to be giving advice on job interviews, considering I am only 20 and I've not been through that experience yet but hopefully YouTube will still be about then and I'll still be making videos and hopefully I'll be able to when we get to those sort of stages in my career I'll be able to broadcast them for you to listen to and hopefully give you these juicy tidbits of information that can help you in the future. Now just a quick sort of summary I thank 
all of you that are here today and that you've watched my video. It's amazing the amount of subscribers that I have right now. Hopefully we can really push on. I've got lots of series ideas for you. Plenty in COD, plenty in Minecraft, keep everyone happy. And you never know, you might see some more different games pop up over the next few weeks. And hopefully we can really get some blitz out some videos over Easter when I've got some time off before my exams. And then through the summer you'll see some monstrous pieces of work. Maybe not on this channel, I might make another channel just for some separate works that I don't want to be associated with my channel necessarily. Um, maybe a summer montage, who knows. The possibilities are endless as the tagline. What company is that? Honda? Yeah, I think it's Honda. Yeah, anyway, I've run over the video. Um, as you saw, I changed at the end there to Becky, Nye and Becky. She's not the best, but she tries her heart out. Ikaweb doing as well. Big shout out to those two. I tend to play um, Call of Duty with them and the regular cast of crazy characters and things like that. Anyway, this has been Gloves. If you're still here, just close the tab right now, mate. <laughs> Hopefully you'll leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace!